Finding help when you need it the most can be challenging. And going through the healthcare system to try to find mental health services as a young person can feel like you're in a bit of a maze. Sometimes you hit dead ends, you have to retrace your steps, and sometimes you have to start all over again. And that's if you even find the entrance. And of course, this whole process takes a long time, and delaying help can result in worse outcomes for young people. It's no wonder that emergency rooms are becoming the front door for mental health help for young people. So what can be done? For starters, instead of using the same approach with the same people, maybe we ought to do things differently. We can turn to our communities, surrounding communities, to leverage our strengths and knowledge. Because together, we are stronger. It turns out that such an approach does exist through Access Open Minds, a pan-Canadian research network that connects youth, family and carers, researchers, service providers, and policymakers to improve youth mental health care across the country. The approach consists of early identification, rapid access, appropriate care, continuity of care beyond the age of 18, youth and family engagement, and continued evaluation. Okay, okay, let's take a deeper dive in. Tight-knit, interdisciplinary teams of access clinicians are able to get to youth earlier than any one service could, taking multiple social and clinical factors into account to provide a preventative approach to mental health care. Access Open Minds strives to be a community partner, and as a result, youth arrive at our doors through many different avenues. For example, self-referrals by family members, other mental health professionals, schools, community organizations, and other partners. Things right now are slow. Once referred, most young people are contacted within 72 hours for an appointment and will receive mental health services within 30 days. Uh, I, um, uh. <sighs> Each site has advisory bodies made up of local youth who tailor the project's nationwide principles to the unique context of their home. This means many sites have become de facto community centers, providing art nights, tutoring, cooking classes, and a plethora of other activities developed by youth for youth. Over 18? Not a problem. Rather than leaving youth and their families to navigate a sometimes convoluted, disintegrated system, Access Open Mind sites bring everything under one roof, making collective decisions in a timely, youth-focused manner. Youth, family and carers are engaged in the design of services. They have opportunities to share their knowledge, analyze data, and even lead projects of their own that meet their community's needs. The trials of support of a young person with mental health and addictions can be challenging, but staying linked to each other and others in the community helps us stay strong. With evaluation integrated into parts of services, we can better understand their impact, respond to local needs, and inform return on investment. After using Access Open Minds services, youth are reporting less distress and improvement in their mental health. And the youth have spoken. 88% of youth are satisfied with the services they received at an Access Open Minds site, and 96% of youth would recommend Access Open Minds to a friend. At the end of the day, Access Open Minds is breaking down barriers to get youth the help they need when they need it in a safer, quicker, and accessible way.